Hi, well, welcome to Aussie Vision. It's Kirakis here, and today I am joined by Flo and Haley. Now, we've just watched the jury show, which is the dress rehearsal two of semi final two. And this year's semi final was 100% televote. Now, we're going to run through the acts who nailed it and done well, who we think have done well, and then talk about Australia separately. Now, um, Flo, let's start with yeah. you. Who okay. now to, and impressed you the most uh, tonight? Albania. Um, I was actually shocked as to how much I enjoyed it because this, I'll be honest, this is a, this is a song that I didn't rate very highly, um, mainly because I just found it so cheesy. But with the staging, it actually looks edgy. I mean, it screams Albania because, of course, you've got the red lighting and they're wearing the sort of very sort of outfits that you associate with Albania. It all came together, and I really liked how um, you, you forget that they are a family. Um, but I liked that little simple choreo they had going. I mean, they weren't dancing, but they were all just, yeah, it, it, together, just doing all the movements together. It just looked fantastic. And, oh, yeah, it's it's amazing. It's, it's For me, it's gone. It's my Portugal from a couple of years ago, um, the Black Mamba. Yep. It's that. That's how it's come for me. A song that um, a zero is going to hero for me just like that. And there's always one song every year that does it for me, and that's the one. Can I just say to Albania that, yes, I, and Fleur, I was very with you on how I felt about it. I didn't enjoy the national final performance a little bit. It was a bit awkward, but tonight it just came together. She was the focus. She's yeah. a superstar. She's compelling. She's gorgeous. The family are a little bit back and they've done a lot of work and that black and red and her outfit looks sensational. They were unbelievable. I actually got the chills watching them. They were great. Mm. Yeah. So who, who else um, impressed you, uh, Hayley? Andrew Cypress. He was yeah. wonderful. He really was. Um, I hadn't seen any rehearsal footage at all, so I didn't know what to expect. The colour palette they've used of those different blues work together Let's not forget, he is stunning to look at. He nailed the vocals and that rain effect going down behind him was just gorgeous and he got quite the reaction in the crowd. So um, I was, I'm was, i so, so pleased he did such a good job. He really deserves to do well. Yeah, I totally agree. I thought he did a tremendous job. Amazing vocals from the get-go with that falsetto and I just I love the contrast of the water and fire. I thought, I thought personally it was quite effective. And in a field that's quite open in semi-final two, I really am seeing as like Cyprus or Belgium maybe winning the semi. That's my opinion, oh, but uh, yeah. it's looking likely. Uh, Flo, did you have any thoughts on uh, Andrew's performance? It was my favourite. Um, that was the standout of the night. The only reason I didn't mention it earlier because I knew it was going to be good. Um, but, wow, I mean... We saw him at Australia Decides last year, how he's come from there. My God, like, he wasn't one of the face of Australia Decides. Gets um, internally selected for Cyprus. Well done, Cyprus. Fantastic. I'm so glad he's had this chance because he's going to sail to that final. There's no doubt. He's he's qualified. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if he's the top qualifier. Mm. Yeah. It was that amazing. Another performance that I thought um, now that was Belgium, um, I thought Gustav oh, did an incredible job with his performance and it really pops after the first four entries. Um, oh. It feels like that's where the party starts in a way. That, that, that they're my thoughts. Um, but yeah, the 90s house theme is turned up to the max and the, ba- the backing vocalists get to shine. And I just love the way that they're all together like that on stage and the way they're presented on screen as well. And his vocals were on point. Um, Fleur, Haley, do you have? Do you both have any views on that Belgium's entry? Um, I'll just say that the crowd went crazy the entire three minutes. <laughs> like everyone was dancing the entire three minutes, and the crowd was screaming the entire three minutes. Um, I couldn't see too much because I was right back, but I could see the graphics in the background of his um, sort of like his video clip and. Um, sort of the inclusivity of the video clip as well. It's just something really special about it. And he's just, he just seems like such a nice guy. And um, the vocals were amazing. It was, it was one of the biggest reactions of the night for sure. And you're right. It got the party started. Um, Because from my end, it it looked like a 90s music video. 
that's how it looked. It reminded me of um, what they called CC Music Factory. That's the vibe <laughs> I got. Yeah, <laughs> it looked great. I have to admit, it just looked absolutely great on the um, on the screen. Yeah. Now we're going to talk about other notable entries. I'm going to start with you, Fleur. Um, mm-hmm. Which other country would you like to talk about? Denmark. Um, really love the staging. I simple, effective, very effective. Um, that's another song that I was in the it was middle for me. Um, didn't love it, didn't hate it, but I think this will qualify. I'm pretty sure this is qualifying. It was always borderline, but I'm sold now. Yeah, yep, I, agree. Was... I agree. Oh, sorry, what's that, Haley? Yeah, I just say I agree. The staging was fantastic, and I think it will go through. Yeah, um, I was talking to Olivia earlier today, and she was um pointing out that it's very TikTok friendly as well, like just the way the the staging is, and it reminds her of some videos that she's seen seen as well. Um, so yeah, it looks great mm. for Denmark. Um, Haley, what other um other performances that, uh, do you want to talk about? Well, look, I'm I'm going to be a bit biased here. I really love the Georgia song. Everyone knows that, and I just found her absolutely captivating. The lyrics, I'm sorry, the um. The vocals were on point. I mean, we all know she can sing really well. There was something very flowy and just really beautiful about it. Um, so I really enjoyed her. And I'm going to give a shout out to San Marino because they rocked it. They were amazing. <laughs> they didn't put a foot wrong. The staging was brilliant. I mean, they had the red theme again, but San Marino were great. <laughs> Good on them. Now, I'm, I want to talk about Amenia. Um, I thought... Uh, Overall, there was some great camera shots, and um, Brunette was um, vocally really good. I do like the the pink purple purple marbling effect uh, they create, and there's a dance break in her performance. So very different to the music video. Um, and I thought her her diction in the rap part um, was one of the highlights of the performance uh, yeah. personally. Um, and I do like the stark black and white lighting. I thought that was very super impactful. And I know um, when I was in the press centre, I think that was the the favourite from the press centre. So it's really made an impact with people. Mm. That um that sort of sloped floor with that sort of sort of watery colours looks looks fantastic. And her all there on her own looked really really good. Another notable entry I think we should talk about is a Blanca with her performance of solo. A uh, Fleur, what did you think? Okay, that stands out mainly because of all the colours. There's all the colours of the rainbow are in this, plus extra ones that you never even knew existed. Um, mm. And the fact that she follows Greece and Iceland, yeah, it's boom in your face because their staging, it's pretty um, toned down. And then, wow. Um I think they've also tried to put as many effects possible known in the CGI world for that performance. It's that's what we're going to be watching it. We're going to be watching it. Well, I'm going to be watching it um, in Australia at about five stupid o'clock in the morning. And that's going to like wake me up because I'm just going to be like, (laughs) that's going to be me. (laughs) Yeah. I, I, um, I can say there was a lot of love in the room for her. I think, um, you know, she has had a bit of a rough trot and um, she sang well, she performed well. There was nothing not to like. Everyone knows the song. I mean, people forget it is an excellent song Um, Mm. and people were just clapping along and singing and it was, you're right, it was a colour explosion and it was thoroughly enjoyable and I'm so proud that she did so well. And she can dance. Yes. We want we want to see her dance and we're going to see her dance. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. I love how um they threw the they threw the whole kitchen sink at this and uh, yeah. it seems like they had all these ideas and they just put them all in there, like from the, the fisheye lens in the start, like just adding some difference to the performance that we got a fl- fake blunker at some stage yes. as well. On yes. The, and then yeah. there was a parrot. Um Oh, there's it's so much the, going on, and it's the Achille Laura of this year. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I would, I would agree. So, not, not as yeah. crazy. Like, yeah. film, but she did add a lot to her performance, um, and I think it's good for her to have those mom- moments to make them memorable, and hopefully that works for her to qualify as well. And yeah. let's not forget, she's stunning, and mm. um, 
there'll be a certain demographic just wanting to vote for her because she's gorgeous. So good on her. Now, let's talk about Australia. We're talking about Australia separately and Voyager with promise. Um, look, Hayley, I'm going to start with you. You're covered in Australian flags. <laughs> um, what did you think of uh, Voyager's performance? Look, I need to do a disclaimer. Um, this is my all-time favourite um, Eurovision performance because I love my rock music. I love them as a band and they brought the goods. Um, I was right at the back um, because I'm, I'm going again tomorrow and where I'll see it closer. Um, everybody, was, I mean, including myself, was going absolutely insane for it. Um, and the growl, everyone, like everyone just went at the, all at the same time. I was surrounded by quite a lot of Brits um, and they were just loving it. It was, um, I obviously I couldn't see too much, but um, what I could hear was perfect. Yep. And I cannot wait to see Qualify tomorrow night. I'm already organising people to meet early on um, Friday night for the jury show to get all along the front oh, wow. and just be in the cameras with all our Australian flags supporting them because they deserve it so hard. What did you think, yeah. Flo, of that performance? <laughs> Me? Uh, I loved it because, like Hayley, I enjoy my rock music, as everyone knows, and Hayley and I have very similar tastes when it comes to Eurovision songs, apparently. Um, I loved it. Um, the car I thought in the middle, um, for the whole thing, it kind of, in a way, it's in the way. That's what I got from the, from, you know, from watching it, um, at home. Um, but I love the bit where Simone and, um, she does her guitar solo and Danny's got the cater. That looks fantastic. It looks, and yeah, it looks amazing. It looks amazing. And I like with the screen how they've got it. I think it's meant to look like a highway. Looks brilliant. You took my points there for uh, about Australia. <laughs> like, um, I'll, I'll just add, like, in terms of a lighting show, that they they there was no pyro, but they did make yeah. use of a lot of lighting effects and a lot of. So yeah, I can't even begin to imagine what it felt like uh, for you, Haley, in the uh, in the arena with all those lights going crazy mm. in different parts of the song. Yeah, I was too busy screaming to. Okay. Um... <laughs> and because I'm so short, I struggled to see what was going on on screen, but I could see there was a lot of colour um, yeah. and maybe they're saving the pyro for tomorrow night. Yeah, maybe. I was thinking because... that too. I was thinking that too. There was a lack of pyro, so I'm thinking, I wonder if there's something else coming mm. on the night. I saw them as they came back to the green room because we were right, I guess, in front of the green room and they were ecstatic. <laughs> yeah, amazing. They were, yeah, they were very, very happy, I could tell. <laughs> Now, yeah. lastly, I, I want to uh, just want your both of your opinions on the running order. Like, what do you think of it? Uh, I'll start with you, Fleur. Do you have any thoughts? Um, yeah, and I've said this from the get go. I found Denmark a strange song to open with. I thought I think really think Belgium would have been the better opener. Yeah. yeah. Um, I understand, you know, the the pot allocations. You know, they're both drawn first half, but I was just puzzled by that and I still think um yeah nothing's changed there the other thing too is I know everybody has their concept of what they want on stage but there's a section I think oh who have I I've got I've got it written down here um jo uh, San Marino Austria Albania it's so much and then Australia it's so much red yeah. there's so much red and you get sick of seeing red it's like other colors but yeah that's the other thing, but you don't know that when you allocate the running order, what people are going to do. Mm, mm. Haley, your thoughts? Um, yeah, I, I would probably um, put Belgium first. Maybe the other option might be Iceland because they're really mm. um, sort of um, outgoing and sort of, sort of that would nice. But I think we need something with a bit of tempo to go first. So, yeah, Belgium would be good, Iceland maybe. Um, or even even rock, I don't know, but I'm not sure if Denmark's the right starting song, to be honest. Yeah, I felt the same way because um, I'm watching it in the press centre. The first four songs are quite a, yeah, when you get to Gustav, it's like, poor, that really yeah. pops. So it yeah. would have made sense for him to start and it made sense for Voyager to end it with their performance. Oh, absolutely. But in absolutely. terms of the ending, that was perfect. Mm, mm, mm. I agree. <laughs> well, yeah. that wraps things up. These are just our opinions from the show. 
thank you, Fleur and Haley, for joining me today. And I hope you. everyone enjoys semi final two when it's on very soon. See yeah. ya. Okay. Bye. Bye.